Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you about the incredible M60A1 Rise tank. It's a fantastic tank, believe me. Now this tank, it has a very special play style, very special. You know, it's affected by the lack of speed, while other tanks at this BR, they're fast, really fast, but not this one, folks. It's not the fastest, I'll be honest, but that's okay because I'm gonna give you the winning strategy, the winning strategy for this tank. Here's what you gotta do, folks. You stay between the first and the second front lines, right in the middle, and you clean up those enemy tanks that try to rush behind your lines. You gotta be smart, folks, smart like me. The M60A One Rise, it's best played when you hold those choke points. Tremendous choke points. You've got a fantastic long-range gun, believe me and you punish those fast tanks. Fast tanks like the Leopard A1A1. They try to rush through, but you won't let them, not with this tank. Now let me tell you about the penetration, folks. It's incredible. Tremendous penetration. With all of your shells, no tank should be a problem. Not at all. And even if you miss a shot, don't worry. The M60A1 Rise, it's got a good gun reload, very fast reload. It covers it up just like I cover up my opponents. It's tremendous. Now remember, you are not a rusher. No, no, no. You advance with your team. Stick together, folks. Cover them when those enemy tanks try to get their flanks. And hold those angles. Very important angles, folks. You're the boss there. You show them who's in charge. Now let's talk about the wide ammo selection, folks. It's fantastic, very versatile. We've got Hesh, Heat FS, and Smoke Shells. You can engage any target in any situation, but let me tell you, your main shell, the best shell, is gonna be the M735 APFSDS shell. That's the one you gotta research as soon as possible. Get it, folks. Until then, you can use the Heat FS or the APDS shell. It's available right from the start. It's great too, believe me. In conclusion, folks, the speed limitation of the M60A1 rise, it forces it to play as a second line fighter. But don't you worry, because you've got that combat awareness, tremendous awareness. Use it to punish those enemy flankers and cover those important locations and choke points. You're a winner, folks. A real winner. Now let's talk about the pros and cons. We've got some tremendous pros and a few cons, but it's all right. Nobody's perfect, right? Pros, folks, let me tell you. ERA plates, they're going to protect you from chemical rounds. You're safe, folks. You're safe with this tank, smoke shells. ESS and smoke grenades. They're gonna help you in dangerous situations. Safety first, folks. Always safety first. An extremely accurate and fully stabilized 105 millimeter gun. Tremendous accuracy. You won't miss, believe me. Good stock APDS shell. Right from the start, it's a winner, just like you, folks. An APFSDS shell. It's got tremendous penetration. Nobody's gonna stop you, nobody. And don't forget that .50 cal machine gun. It helps you take down those low-flying air targets and lightly armored tanks. It's a winner, folks, a real winner. Now, we've got a few cons, but it's okay. It's okay, folks. Nobody's perfect, right? Yes, it's a very large target. But hey, when you're this powerful, they're gonna notice you. You can handle it. The Commander Cupola, it's a little weak, I'll be honest, a little noticeable, a little thinly armored. But that's okay, you're a winner, folks. You can handle it. Despite the ERA, the overall armor, it's not the best for the BR. Not the best, but you've got other strengths. The tracks, they can be loud, a little loud, but hey, you're making noise, you're making a statement. Yeah, it lacks thermals that most opponents have at its BR. But you know what, you're a winner, folks. You don't need them. So there you have it, folks. The M60A1 Rise, it's an incredible tank. It's powerful, it's strong. It's gonna make you a winner. Go out there, play smart, and show them what you're made of. Thank you, and God bless you all.